it's unboxing time again and I'm actually going to try to get two videos out of this one video one for my kitchen vlog channel and I'm going to do it a little bit differently from my mobile home gourmet channel on YouTube but I bought something today at the suggestion of a friend who says it was a really good price because it was after Christmas clearance this is what I bought it's a heavy box I bought a Serrano ham at Costco we're gonna unbox this and I paid $50 for this it was $49 like $49.96 $49.97 and I went on Amazon he said the price before Christmas was $99.99 I went on to Amazon same product same brand name same size everything was $188 and change so 50 bucks was a pretty good deal so let's open this up I haven't even peeked in this so I don't know what I've got a couple of tabs here to pull out okay and does this lift up yes it does little plastic handle there ooh wee my friend says this will fit in my refrigerator I measure the box it won't fit in my refrigerator but here's the ham look at the size of that thing according to the box it was 14.7 pounds it's the ham all right let's set that down comes with a carving knife I've got better knives I'll check this to see how sharp it is and then in here I can set that down instructions perfect carving blah 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 and let's see sounds like there's metal pieces in there get out a pair of scissors Cut through this tape. And no tape on the ends. Oh, this is the wooden block that it's on. Ah! <laughs> and it comes with hardware. That's all the stuff. Okay. This is the wooden base. I'm done with that. And I assume this all gets assembled like so, something or other. I'm going to have to read the directions and then we'll put this together. All the parts are here. I checked. So I have two wood screws. It says put this on the end. And then you line up the holes get the screw through there and then they give you an allen key to turn the screw with get it started here and then the other one Okay, those are started, and I'm going to take a minute, flip this over, and use the Allen key the other way to get these screws tightened in all the way. Pardon. And drop things on the floor. Where did it fall? There's a, a law of physics that says when any, whenever anything falls to the floor, it will always fall to the space where it is least easy to retrieve. A little bit more here. And that should do it. Okay, that's step one. Done. Next, I have to attach this clamp thing. And I need a screw and nut. And I don't know... I checked the nut, by the way, that comes with it. It's obviously metric, which makes sense because it is from Spain. 
and I don't have a socket here in the house that'll fit the um, nut. So I got a wrench, an adjustable wrench that I'll put on there like that. And then using the Allen wrench, tighten this up. Okay, I got that on, and it says just to fix it in place by hand. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be loose. This is the ham holder. That's, this goes on this end. And there's a bolt for that. And it's a bolt with a point on the end. So I might just twist this on to get it most of the way. Doesn't say how tight to put it, so I'm just gonna get it tightened so that it's locked down. And then finally, the last piece is this screw here, and that goes into here. And this is obviously to secure it. Last step is to place the ham on there and they show in the picture with plastic on maybe you remove the plastic after you get the ham on there so let's see I put that in there like that and then put this on there like that Push that down like that, turn this in until it attaches to the bone. I'm screwing in this last bolt, which I'm assuming is going to just press against the bone. I don't feel much resistance yet. But maybe it doesn't need to. I mean, it feels pretty secure in there. They don't give you a whole lot of instructions. So, I'm going to assume that's good enough. Oh, there it goes. That's, that's it. I'm feeling some resistance now. That's in the bone. Okay. So, here's the knife they gave me. It's got a little uh, wire tie holding it in place. Snap that. Take the little wire tie out. It's got a rubber, no, a plastic corner point protector on there, which I won't remove yet, but I want to see how good this knife is. And the best way to tell is to drag it along your thumbnail. If it catches, if it rolls really easy like that does, that's the back of the knife, obviously. It's a dull knife. But if it catches on your thumb, that's actually pretty sharp. Don't know how long it'll stay that way. I'm going to leave that point protector on there for the time being. I put an apron on because I wasn't sure how messy this might be. But using their knife... Starting at the top. Ooh, that's working really nice. So I want to take a piece right off the top here. This is where it gets tough because the, the way the meat is. I got through it. It's kind of a hard piece of meat. Trim that up a little bit. So let's see how good this tastes. It has a texture like prosciutto. It tastes like prosciutto, but it's milder.
That's actually pretty good. Tastes very close to prosciutto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this, portion it. I use my um, vacuum sealer to package pieces up and put it in the freezer. I like thick pieces because that's what I use when I'm cooking rather than using the paper thin slices you buy at, say, Costco. I like thicker pieces that I can cube up and use it in soups like clam chowder. So what did I end up with? Here are all my pieces of ham, all vacuum sealed in packs. Someone wanted to see what the ham would look like when it was all trimmed, but it was never all trimmed all at one time. I trimmed a little bit and then I cut off pieces, trimmed more, cut off pieces. I mean, it looked like this. It was this dark reddish color. That's what the ham looked like underneath. I did some math. I came up with each of these packets is really close to four ounces because that's what I typically use in my recipes, four ounces. I ended up with 11 and a half pounds of this ham. If I were to buy prosciutto at the deli counter at the store, which is currently $14 per pound, this amount of prosciutto would have cost me $161. I paid 50. I think that's a pretty good bargain. But it was a lot of work. Would I do this again? Hopefully not for a long time.